Hi guys and welcome to Tech Firm. Uh, today we're going to do, well, we're going to do a test bed. So uh, basically that's this guy here. I've ripped it out of the back of this guy here. And let's look at how I've done this. Alright guys, so what's the motivation behind this? Well, uh, basically I need a test bed and I could essentially just, you know, rip a motherboard tray or whatever and slap the motherboard on it, attach a power supply somewhere and like have parts hanging off it. But the problem is I want a solution that I can just pick up and move around if I need to. And that is probably where the, the base here comes in. So uh, the plan here is I need to be able to mount uh, some hard drives to it as well. Uh, so I'm going to try and butcher a hard drive cage from somewhere. Uh, we also need to get the front panel connectors off this guy here. Uh, and find a way to mount them onto there. And then once we've done that, we'll have an all-in-one solution. We'll slap some parts on it, give it a test, and see how we go. Now, uh, how I managed to get the motherboard tray out, for those of you who are wondering, uh, a lot of these things are held in by pop rivets, and this one was no exception to that rule. However, I was a little bit lucky in that uh, at the top of the case, it was held in by screws. So the top part was only screwed in, which meant the only pop rivets I had to move was five, and they were at the bottom. Uh, it was a little difficult getting it out because I had to basically angle grind off two on the bottom, two on the back, one on the side, but it was very well attached even with the pop rivets removed. Uh, and I kind of had to bend the case a little bit, but I got it out, and once it was out, I now have a fully fledged motherboard tray that's intact. Uh, so, all I have to do now is we'll give it a paint, uh, we'll slap some hard drives on it, and we will give it a test. Alright guys, so I've finished the build process now and it was pretty straightforward, uh, not a whole lot to it. Uh, you know, we see we've got the power reset, we've got the USBs, we've got a firewire port which I'll never use so I've just kind of cable tied over the top of it. Uh, hard drive cage is in. Uh, in terms of durability, I mean it's it's all on there. Um, I know it's cable tied but it works. Uh, you really can't beat cable ties, they're pretty good for everything. Uh, I have loaded it up with dual hard drives, I've loaded it up with the motherboard and heatsink and everything. Uh, heavy graphics card, the whole lot, uh, and it works perfectly as a test bed, so I am stoked about how this has gone. Uh, before I unveil a working version of this to you guys, I'm actually going to paint this. So we'll go do that, and then we'll be back. Alright guys, so I've finished the test build at last, uh, it's turned out fantastic. Uh, overall, I mean it's in a, you know, I know it's janky, I know it's dodgy, I know this is cable tied, I know that's cable tied, it's clearly cable tied. Uh, but let's be honest, the goal here was to build a test bed for zero dollars and I think I pulled off a pretty good project here. It looks not bad, uh, I don't feel ashamed putting this up on a YouTube channel for the whole world to freaking see. Uh, it's, yeah, it's turned out fantastic. So at this point I think a uh, janky case, well, test bed, test bed deserves a janky motherboard. So, you guys might remember this. It's a uh, old friend from an old video, which you can check out up here. It is a, uh, well, it's the motherboard we use in the Living with the Q6600 series. Uh, and basically, I have the Q6600 here. Um, I think it's time to put it back in that motherboard and slap it on here and be like, let's see what works, bro. Did I do the right thing? Uh, so, let's do janky with janky. Alright guys, so it's turned out fantastic. Uh, build took like, what, 15 to 17 minutes, uh, which was fantastic considering it was completely bare. Uh, overall, I think in future, now that the power supply is mounted and the hard drives are mounted, I don't really need to change anything on this. So it'll just be like graphics cards and motherboards that are swapped out, which is, yay, fantastic. So, uh, let's get this baby tested. Alright guys, so we've finished up all the setup now, and we've got Windows on there, and uh, I've actually taken it a step further this time, so instead of just doing a clean install like I normally do and then just leaving it and trashing it, you know, two or three weeks down the track when it's full of drivers and all sorts of weird stuff and it starts playing up, 
Uh, this time I've done it different and I've actually cloned the Windows install to a Clonezilla image on a virtual machine on my Ryzen box. And what that means is every single time I want to do a reinstall of Windows, I don't have to uh, wait for all the updates to download and wait for the games to download as well for Steam. I literally just have to connect it to the network and then I can stream the image back to the hard drive and bam, I have a clean install ready to go. So um, super stoked about that. And overall, yeah, I'm pretty stoked with the project. Uh, you're going to be seeing this thing in the next few videos, I believe. I'm going to I'm going to start doing some testing that I've wanted to do, but um, just so time consuming, so I haven't been able to do it. As a result, this solves that problem. So thanks for watching, guys. Like this one if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment down below if you have anything to say or any criticisms or um, any suggestions as well. Is there, if there's anything you want me to do with this test bed uh, to further improve on it, please let me know down down below. That'll be great. Uh, so yeah, get subscribed guys as well if you haven't been subscribed yet. Um, I do a lot of different content, uh, a lot of different benchmarking content. Uh, recently I've been doing some Ryzen stuff. Prior to that I was doing some stuff with some old Core 2 quads and some AMD, AMD stuff as well. Um, so yeah, I do a few different things. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next episode.